you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before In a movie line We can ride our Or if you're brand new here, what's up? I am Jen, I share all things health and wellness here. Anything I do to level up my own life, I share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same. So if that sounds like your jam, make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video. All right guys, welcome back to another vlog. Happy Monday, we are starting out week five of phase two. We technically only have a couple days left. We have two days left, so I would be done by Wednesday, but we're gonna go ahead and keep trucking through the week and take it to Friday. And then I have a plan for the weekend and what I'm going to do, which I'll talk to you guys more about a little later in the vlog but it is already afternoon almost one o'clock getting ready to drink up my pre-workout here I have the Redmond's uh, pre-workout and electrolytes mixed in here with a little bit of water have my hydro jug which I'm almost I'm about halfway on my first half gallon you guys saw I had the pumpkin protein oats this morning 10 out of 10 fire I showed exactly how I put them together in my meal prep video which would have went up before this one so if you guys are missing those videos definitely go check them out a hundred out of ten recommend meal prep dude it is like a lifesaver a time saver it helps keep you on plan without it just takes the thought process out of it and decisions what am I gonna eat all of that plus a time saver if you're tracking and weighing and all of that it's just a game changer absolutely recommend meal prep but how cute is my hydro jug on a side note? Just got this new sleeve and it matches me and I have my Buff Bunny gear on and everything matches so I'm already feeling like on top of the world going to the gym for pool day, back and biceps, ready to go crush this workout, start this week off strong, in phase two with a bang and absolutely crush it. I hope you guys are crushing it. If you have not laid out a plan for the week, do it now. Do it right now. Jot down three or four things that you want to crush and you want to attain before the end of the week that will help move you along on your health and fitness journey or whatever you're trying to attain in life. But if you're following me, you for sure are trying to follow some type of a health journey. So lay it out, be intentional, and be detailed about what you want. And when you write it down, it's going to make it more concrete for you and you are way more likely to do it. And it's a good reminder to look at every day. As soon as you get up, put it somewhere in the morning that you have your routine and that you see it and then it's a good reminder that that's what you're aiming at this week and that's what you want to hit so I am fired up I am ready for an absolutely awesome week I hope you guys are too but it is already one o'clock and I need to head to the gym and knock this second workout out as you guys saw we did our first workout at like six something this morning it was like 60 degrees which is not normal in September in Florida it's already like 100 degrees now by afternoon time that's per usual but it actually felt really good this morning the hubby and I walked together so that was awesome so by the time I finish this at like 2 when I come back to eat lunch before I go get little guy from school I already have both of my workouts knocked out for the day so that for sure feels like I'm winning and that is a great start to the week
and definitely had a good workout, but it was hella hard. I did go up and weight on a quite a few things, so that definitely makes it harder. Anytime you are progressing in weight, it's going to obviously feel harder. So don't let that get in your head because when you overcome that weight and you adapt to it and you grow the strength that you need to pull that weight easy, then you can progress further. That's the whole point is growth. So it was definitely hard as hell today, but we pushed through, we knocked it out, we got it done. I can see the gains more and more as time goes on, as I lean down and get rid of the extra fat laying over these muscle gains. So definitely feeling good about that, but I am like next level starving. I can't wait to get home and eat, thank God for meal prep, because it's already weighed out and ready to rock and roll. I just have to throw it in the microwave, heat it up, and I'll be good to go. And I still have a little bit of water left. I didn't do the sauna, so I didn't end up killing the water. I always chug it super easy when I'm in the sauna, but it's almost gone. So I'll chug the rest of it with lunch and then fill it up for a second time and knock out our to-do list for the day. Just got home and super quick and easy lunch. Threw it right in the microwave for a couple minutes and it is good to go. I have Tyson buffalo chicken strips here, green giant lemon pepper vegetable medley here, and then I have some of the Good and Gather creamer potatoes here. I showed exactly how I put these together in my meal prep video. So again, go check that out. Top the chicken with some of this Walden Farms creamy bacon dressing and I am drinking a Zevia because why not? Mango ginger, sounds delish. I'm gonna work on this lunch and my water so I can fill it up for a second time. And this is coming in at 325 calories and 20 net carbs. Okay, you guys that have followed me forever know what time it is, but for all my new peeps, it is my afternoon protein gains time. I always go in with some ancient nutrition bone broth collagen. This is just the pure, it's 50 calories for one scoop, 14 grams protein. Sometimes I do a double scoop depending on how much protein I need to get in for that day. Today I do have two scoops. I just mix it with some hot water and then throw some ice cubes in there and chug it right down. I'm also going in with the pepperoni seasoned turkey stick from Chops. These are 10 grams of protein, 60 calories. I'm going in with a light string cheese, which is six grams of protein. My absolute number one flavor, the cookie dough chunk. This is 150 calories, 15 grams protein. So I've got all the protein gains going in for my afternoon snack here in a little bit. I'm gonna stir dinner. I did fill my water a second time, so I will work on that through the rest of the evening, but I am feeling absolutely pumped about all my tasks today. I already have both workouts done. I knocked out my reading as you saw this morning when I was having my protein oats out on the swing. Absolutely loving that book, by the way. So all I have left is to follow my diet and finish this water, and that will be a wrap for day 28. We only have a couple days left, so that is exciting that we are finishing strong and having some good momentum at the beginning of the week. It's about 10 after 6, and I am just sitting here knocking out some editing, and I am going in with another chomp stick. I have dinner in the oven. It's meatloaf. It'll take about an hour or so. I just put it in a couple minutes ago. Hubby had to go help my mom with something, so he's still not home yet anyway, so we are waiting on him to to get home and dinner to get done so I figured I'd go in with another chomp stick while I am editing here and procrastinating on putting all of this laundry away. I have a ton of laundry to put away. My sheets and blanket are in the dryer so I need to pull those out, make my bed. You know all the things. It's never ending and I'm just sitting here procrastinating which we know will not get anything done. So I'm going to eat the snack real quick, knock out a couple more minutes of editing and then I'm going to tackle this laundry and make my bed. It's 7 30 and we are going in with dinner and I have this absolutely amazing meatloaf. I am an in person. Let me know if you like meatloaf, if you like the in pieces or the middle pieces. Hubby always cuts the in piece because he knows I love that. I have some fresh baked broccoli here and sweet potatoes. I got these maple bourbon mini sweet potatoes, the Good and Gather brand. It's just like the creamer potatoes that I get from Target, but this is the first time I've seen this. They're 90 calories a serving and they smell absolutely delicious. And this entire plate is coming in at 537 calories and 30 net carbs. And my water is almost killed. I just have a little bit left, so I'm gonna go in with a ginger root beer Zevia with dinner tonight. Almost forgot my sugar-free ketchup, my G Hughes. I did 30 grams, can't have meatloaf without ketchup. 8.25 and going in with my snack. If you guys have not done this combo with the cookie dough chunk and the butter my cookie, if you have this pair, literally dynamite. I don't have a ton of nut butter on there just because I couldn't fit it in my macros tonight, but just 
it'll be perfect. The amount that's on there will still be like the bomb with this cookie dough chunk bar because it is so delicious. This is 213 calories and eight net carbs. Finishing me off for the night at 202 grams protein, 54 grams fat, 1808 dead even on the calories. So you can see why I didn't have room for more nut butter and 97 net carbs for a wrap to my full day of eating. But I still do have a little bit of water left and then we'll knock out the task list. It's nine o'clock. I have killed my water. So all the tasks are done and I just realized that it is day 29 today for some reason I thought we still had two more days, but we don't we actually only have one more official day tomorrow will be the last day So that is super exciting. So that is a wrap for day 29 morning fam happy tuesday it is tuesday morning it's about 10 o'clock right now i dropped little dude off at school then i had to run to aldi's and grab a few things i had to run to the vitamin shop and pick up an order that i placed for there because they had a 20 percent coupon off that was expiring today and i wanted to grab a couple things from there so i picked up that order working on my zevia on my way to head to the house to knock out my first workout and get some other work stuff done i have been feeling incredibly happy this morning just full of of like gratitude and joy and I want to share that with you guys for a second because oftentimes we are naturally bent I feel like as humans to see like the negative side of things or to worry about what we don't have or what we need like all the time and not take a second to really like be grateful about things that are present right now in your life like this morning I was literally driving like so grateful for the way the Sun comes through the trees grateful for seeing my son's smiling face on the way to school grateful for my body to be able to walk to the vehicle to get in a vehicle to drive to school like things that you just do you know throughout life every single day all the time and you don't stop to think about and when you really do you're so filled with gratitude that you can't even like worry or stress about the other things because you can't hold both at the same time you know you're not gonna be like over anxious and have a spirit of fear and worry and all of that over you if you are just looking at what's right in front of you with such a positive grateful attitude and I have just been overwhelmed with gratitude this morning and it has literally just made me have such a happy joyful morning and I try to practice gratitude all the time however I'm not perfect at it and I'm sure it's something we all can work on to remind ourselves I do a gratitude practice every single morning but sometimes even that becomes routine because I do it every single morning and I don't actually like feel the gratitude in my heart and mind if that makes sense and I I just was this morning and it's like crazy how it makes you feel so just stop for a second think about the things that you're grateful for write them down but even if you don't write them down or adopt some kind of gratitude practice every morning at least take a few minutes to like think about them and it doesn't have to be huge things like my family it could be like a hot cup of coffee or the way the Sun comes through the window in the morning like it could be any little or big thing but when you have a heart full of gratitude, it's hard to hold all the negative feelings at the same time. So I just think it's good for overall health. So I am grateful for this morning, this Tuesday morning. It was nice and crisp out this morning and I put a sweater on and then as soon as the sun comes out in Florida, then that is gone. But I love the crisp mornings. It's also just a reminder of a new season, a fresh season. I love that we have seasons. I was just talking to my mom about it yesterday and I was like, God is so awesome. Like he knew humans needed season change. I really should have done my first outside workout when it was crisp this morning but that's okay you guys know how much I love the Sun and walking anyways but we have made it back to the house so I'm gonna unload all these groceries and of course I am filming all of it so make sure you guys are checking out the weekly grocery hauls and meal plans so you can see all the items that I'm picking up from the store stuff I'm ordering online everything that is helping me along on my health and fitness journey but it is Tuesday it is the last day of phase two officially day 30 today I don't even know how it has already been been a month it's crazy one more phase of the live hard program and we will have completed the entire live hard program that is amazing to me absolutely love it but I'm gonna get these groceries inside and film them and we'll go pound the pavement for a few miles
just finished up an absolutely gorgeous walk right over three miles it is like next level beautiful outside or just like i was talking about earlier having that heart posture of gratitude like everything just seemed overwhelmingly gorgeous and I don't even know. You guys know how much I love walking in nature. But anyways, I have my meal prep barbecue beef here with some veggies and creamer potatoes, which I just threw in the microwave for a couple minutes. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of the no sugar added raised barbecue sauce, which is what I already cooked in the beef when I prepped this up. And all of this is 518 calories and 27 net carbs. Just added the barbecue sauce on there, did exactly one tablespoon, and this could not be easier or more delicious, guys. Highly recommend this. Make sure you guys are checking out those meal prep videos. It's a quarter to two and I am sitting out here. I just finished reading this book. It was a super quick read. It's not long at all, but it's really good. Highly recommend it. I will link it in my Amazon store for you guys. It is from Admiral William McGraven. Make Your Bed is the name of it. Super good, but just finished it. Now I am getting ready to go in here and knock out some work and have a snack. It's gorgeous out here sitting under this tree on my swing. You guys know this is like one of my favorite places to be. But this will be the last book for phase two, and we will start a new one tomorrow. It's four o'clock, and we are back from getting little dude from school, and I'm going in with my afternoon protein gains. It's all the same things you guys have seen a gazillion times. I swear I'll come up with something new or different to show you guys soon. But today we are going in with the chomps, the string cheese, the cookie dough chunk, which is my fave, and the bone broth collagen. And I do have two scoops in here today, and then I just filled my water a second time. It's right after seven, and I just played it up dinner super quick and easy i just made up some taco meat i mixed some laughing cow cheese in it just to make it super creamy i've been loving doing that and then i topped it with some of the good and gather chunky and corn black bean salsa a little bit of fat-free mild cheddar cheese stuffed in a sweet potato down there and it is 575 calories and 29 net carbs i'm also going to go in with a ginger root beer zevia my water is almost dead so i will kill it with dinner Inside. Beating hearts don't lie. And here we go, guys. Our last An official workout for phase two. To and we have officially just passed the 45 minute mark. About to wrap up two and a half and head back and get a dessert. Officially finished our second workout for day 30, our last day of phase two. And now we are going in with all the pumpkin greatness. I have a pumpkin too good yogurt on it. I have some of the American Dream pumpkin cheesecake nut butter, some of the purely Elizabeth granola. I have 15 grams of this, six grams of this. I did about a half of a pump of this pumpkin caramel skinny syrup, zero calories, zero sugar, all of the things. And then two of the pumpkin protein muffin. And all of this is coming in at 352 calories and 24 net carbs. Sorry about the TV being so loud in the background. That's just how it is at night here. My finishing macros for day 30 is 207 grams protein, 58 grams fat, 1806 on the calories and 87 net carbs for an awesome day of eating still have just a tad of water left to kill and then we will knock off the last day's checklist and that is officially a wrap water is done you can check off these last few tasks and that is a wrap my friends we have officially completed phase two day 30 is done fam happy hump day it is wednesday and the first official day after phase two holy moly we did it we finished another portion of the live hard program i knew going into it of course that i would and honestly it's just like those things have become so much of my life over the last couple years that it's not as challenging as when I very first did 75 hard. And that should be the point, right? You should be progressing enough that it's not absolutely killing you. If you are redoing a program or going through a program, while it still should be challenging, if you're not like growing and getting stronger and getting better, then you probably should try a different program. You know, like, so I can see that I am adapting to it in ways that are positive and that I am feeling stronger and it's not as like hard or crippling as 75 hard was but i'm still pushing myself and now i am internally pushing myself and wanting more and more and don't want to stop here at phase two and 
just want to keep pushing myself to do better and do more all the time, I guess, is the gist of what I am trying to say. I feel amazing that I have done so many phases of Live Hard because I know that so many people can't do even a week of not cheating, of going off plan, of sticking to their word and moving their body every day, twice a day, getting their water in, reading their book and building their mind and growing. And a lot of people, the majority of people, honestly, in our society can't stick with that. So I feel a sense of pride from that, but then also an urgency to want to like share that with other people so that more people can do that and adapt to that but maybe by being inspired by what i do that's the whole point of what i do so i'm just feeling incredibly grateful and inspired like i have every single time i finish any part of the program i just have like an overwhelming sense of gratitude and inspiration and motivation to share my story and have other people join in and accomplish goals on their fitness journey as well so just feeling awesome this morning i am starting a new book and you never can have enough David Goggins. The first time that I read in air quotes, I actually listened to it on an audiobook, and I just don't think you get the same things out of passive reading, listening, rather than actually reading it. This is a signed copy of his book, and I am going to read that. I have my pumpkin protein oats, and the new, this is um, just a limited edition, the Witch's Brew Alani New Energy Drink, and it's really good. They had a deal at Vitamin Shop, so snag that. I am sipping on that, sitting outside in this gorgeous weather. I'm going to knock out some reading, and then we're going to go get ready and head to the gym for leg day. I already have dinner in the crock pot, which I'll show you guys when we go back in. Y'all just take a second to look at that gorgeousness. Does that not look amazing? Oh yes, with a big old rump roast in there. And I did film it all for what's for dinner so that you guys can see exactly how I made it. All right guys, we have made it to the gym. We are ready to go in here and crush leg day. Or I don't know if we are ready to crush it, but we are going to either way. Which brings me back to the topic of motivation. Your girl, even as awesome as I am feeling finishing phase two, I just was like, man, I was like dreading getting ready and coming and knocking this workout out. One, probably because I'm just overtired, about to start my cycle. Literally, you guys have heard that for the last week. And it just, I feel bloated and not even into it. But that is the thing with motivation that I keep sounding like a broken record is motivation is so temporary. It does not rewire you to just always be ready and going like 100 miles an hour it doesn't it will get you lit up for a couple minutes hopefully if it is something that inspires you and if you can use it as a tool to move you forward then absolutely that is awesome but you are not going to be motivated all day every day for your entire life and if you are making fitness and health and crushing goals a part of your lifestyle you are going to have to do things that help you to rewire your own brain that help you to propel forward even when you don't don't feel like it your routines your habits the structure of your life you are going to have to internally dig deep way down in the pit of your soul and know why you are wanting to reach for more in your life every single day and I think that will internally keep that fire lit and keep you going even when you don't feel like getting up and going and putting your shoes on so today right now if you are still just sitting here watching this video thinking I don't feel like going to the gym I don't feel like getting up and making whatever nutritious meal I don't feel like getting up and reading this book I don't feel like listening to this podcast that's gonna help teach me something whatever it is just know that afterwards you're gonna feel a hundred times better sticking with the commitment and pushing yourself to actually get whatever it is that you're wanting to get done will fuel you to then get the next thing done and to keep it going and to become a habit and help move you a little closer to your goals so I am ready to get in here and hit leg day I have a little bit left this is the equip pre workout today felt like switching it up a little bit so I'm going to finish sipping on this I of course have my first half gallon I could have put electrolytes in here today since phase two is done but I probably with my second one I'll throw some electrolytes in there but let's get in here and crush leg day
straight band workout and some ab workouts and my legs are on fire. You don't have to do a ton of weights and go absolutely crazy insane beast mode to get a good workout in. If you were at home, I have people ask all the time about home workouts. You can get a set of cheap bands off of Amazon or I always get mine from Muveo. I absolutely love them. They've lasted forever. They don't slip and roll around. They're like super good bands. But I mean, there are a ton of good bands out there just, and you could do an insane workout. I did do some crunches on the yoga ball and did the weighted bar um, side twists, but you could use anything for those. You could get creative at the house and just go till burnout. And I got a really killer workout in and my legs and booty are on fire. So feeling good and pumped about that. I still am gonna walk later because you guys know walking is like my number one go-to thing. Like I would give up weight training before I would stop walking. Like that's how much I love it and I love weight training. So I am still gonna get my walk in. I want to still try to get two and a half to three miles a day in even when I'm not doing two a day workouts and all of that. Um, still working on my water. I actually didn't drink a lot of it while I was working out. I was going to do the sauna at the end, but I decided against it because it's already after 1.30 and I need to get home and make up some lunch and knock out some work on my to-do list and all of the things before I have to get little guy from school. Let me know down below. I'm curious from you guys. What is your absolutely favorite leg workout? On leg day, what's the one thing that you like always include or you don't mind doing and you go super hard at it? Let me know down below. Back home now and I just made up some leftovers for lunch. I actually had meal prep plugged in and ready for today, but I just wasn't feeling what I had made. And thank God for leftovers. I just used some of the taco meat from last night and the corn and black bean salsa. Have some sliced cucumbers that I already had sliced up, so super easy. And then some of the tzatziki sauce. And I'm also so going in with the zero sugar Dr. Pepper and all of this is coming in at 411 calories and seven net carbs. It's 3.30. I'm about to go get little guy from school, but I'm going in really quick with my protein gains here. I just did one scoop of the ancient nutrition bone broth collagen. It's actually almost gone. It's probably a half a scoop left, but I have another one that will be here today. So never run out of that stuff. Always have a referral link down below. If you guys want to check it out, I just mix it with hot water, threw some ice cubes in there. Then I did throw a scoop of the Redmond's strawberry lemonade electrolytes in my water i filled it up again so i will be working on that the rest of the evening and then of course going in with my love the cookie dough chunk built bar pot roast is done looking and smelling delicious i had a little issue weighing it up because the crock pot was so heavy trying to weigh it up so i could figure out how many servings were in it, but I did the best that I could. And it's coming in at 599 calories and 46 net carbs. That's also with the Bonza mac and cheese that I paired it with. I made two boxes of this shells and white cheddar Bonza mac and cheese. This is the first time we're trying the shells and white cheddar. The other one was really good. So I have high hopes. I've liked all their products so far. So this is dinner tonight. And it is, of course, dessert time. I'm going in with pretty much the same thing as last night. I have two of the protein pumpkin muffins that I meal prep. They are delicious. I have one of the pumpkin two good yogurts in it. I only have some nut butter tonight. And I have this one, the butter my cookie. This one is so bomb, y'all. I could literally just sit with a spoon and eat this straight out of the jar. It is like next level dangerously good. And I did do a squirt of the pumpkin caramel skinny syrup in the yogurt. It is bomb.com. 330 calories, 22 net carbs for this. This greatness which finishes me off for the night at 200 grams protein 54 grams fat 1837 on the calories and 112 net carbs a little bit over on my net carbs and my calories but that's okay we are rolling with it phase two is over so we can be a couple over the calories we're still in a deficit we're still eating healthy and we are still crushing our goals so that's an awesome day of eating still have a little bit of water and that will finish us off for the night morning guys what's up happy thursday it is now already one o'clock i had my breakfast this morning protein oats protein muffins super delicious absolutely loving them then i just went on a four mile walk it was gorgeous it was awesome the wind was blowing being outside and walking you guys know is my jam absolutely love it 
feeling really good today especially because I am just walking today so it's kind of like a rest day for me and just getting my steps in that's what I'm focusing on working on my first half gallon of water getting ready to go in here and whip up some lunch for the day gonna knock out some of my book from David Goggins because it is also the bomb and just feeling really awesome today feeling good love sitting outside definitely encourage you guys to just sit somewhere that you can be at peace and feel joy and gratitude and just overall happiness for life it's very good for our mental state and just to chill i know we're going 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 all the time and chasing gains and crushing goals and all the things but sometimes it's okay to just like sit and chill and be at peace but I'm also starving, so let's get in here and whip up some lunch. Super quick and easy lunch. Cucumbers that I already had sliced, prepped, and ready to go, as well as the Tyson Buffalo chicken strips that I just threw in the air fryer. Some of them I already had prepped, but I went ahead and threw a couple more on there. And then I have some of the Bolt House Chunky Blue Cheese Yogurt Dressing, 35 calories a serving. Also going in with a Zero Sugar Dr. Pepper, and I am absolutely starving. And like I said, I'm still working on my first half gallon. I'm going to throw some electrolytes in there and top it back off. And this entire lunch is coming in at 345 calories and nine net carbs. It's after 2.30 or so. I am going in with my afternoon protein gains. I have a scoop of the pumpkin pie PE Science. This stuff is bomb. I have a link down below if you guys want to try any of the PE Science stuff out. 10 off 30, that link will get you. Their stuff is bomb. Com. This pumpkin pie, I don't know if they still have it available, but check it out. And if they have some, definitely scoop some up. It is bomb.com. I just have it mixed in here with some water. I also, just to add a little extra spunk, did about a half of a pump of this pumpkin caramel skinny syrup. Zero calories, zero sugar. It is sweetened with sucralose. So if you aren't like for that or that messes you up on your health journey, take that into consideration. But it never has affected me. I don't mind it. And this stuff is bomb. So put some of that in there. And then, of course, I'm also going to go in with my cookie dough chunk and all of this is coming in at 270 calories 39 grams of protein and nine net carbs it's 6 30 and which is super early for me to be eating dinner if you guys have followed you know that but it's because we decided to scrap what we had on the meal plan for tonight and go in with some leftovers just was going to make our night easier and we have a ton of leftovers for this week so going in with some meatloaf with some of the jihu sugar-free ketchup on top um, I did make up this side of seasoned mixed greens to go with the meatloaf. And then I have two little mini baby sweet potatoes. And I'm also going in with a ginger root beer zevia, of course, per usual. And all of this is clocking in tonight at 577 calories and 34 net carbs. All right, guys, going in with the same thing pretty much as last night. The pumpkin too good yogurt. Have some of the American Dream nut butter. I did some of the blueberry brunch tonight. And then have one of the pumpkin muffins, which finishes me off for the night at 200 grams protein, 51 grams fat, dead even on the calories, 1808 and 107 net carbs for an awesome day of eating. About to finish up my water and that will be a wrap for Thursday night. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. Happy first day of October. It is Friday. We have made it to the end of the week feeling absolutely awesome. Getting ready to head to the gym and go knock out push day and finish the week off strong. I am working on my pre-workout. I have the Redmond's Relight pre-workout, which is the go of all pre-workouts. Always have a link down below and with Jim will save you some money. I also have the Redmond's electrolytes in my hydro jug. Now that phase two is over, we can do that and I am loving it. Also got my new Sage Green hydro jug this is the first pro jug that I've had it's like a slimmer fit the lid the cap is a little different it definitely feels like it fits tighter I don't know I'm loving it so far I love the color of this so gorgeous especially for fall and have it of course in one of my favorite sleeves so have my water gonna finish my pre-workout getting ready to throw in my headphones and turn some jams on and get myself pumped and ready for this push day I am crazy sore I have to say my legs are like have been crazy sore and I was even surprised how sore they were from just doing straight band work on Wednesday for leg day like you could still get a killer workout with bands or even just your own body resistance like those workouts can be some of the best workouts and I think they're crucial to throw in there you don't always have to go extreme heavy weight and you could still get an awesome burn sometimes doing those with like lighter resistance or lighter weights but higher reps to burnout is 
extremely beneficial. Yesterday, I just did the four mile walk and feeling good this morning, ready to go knock out push day. I hope you guys are trucking along this week. I hope you guys are crushing it, killing it, crushing your milestones, chasing your goals, doing all the things that fill your cup in life. That way it can overflow and you can fill it out to the rest of the world. But let's go ahead, as you can tell, I'm getting jacked from this pre-workout. Let's go ahead and crush today's workout. Personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be not it in today's training session I literally felt like I could go even longer I was in there for over an hour and a half although I did do 30 minutes in the sauna I did some dips as you saw then I did some stretching which I haven't done stretching like that especially in the sauna in like forever and I've talked to you guys about that a million times I always put stretching and yoga and stuff on the back burner other than when I'm doing like part of the live hard program and I'm forced to do a second workout I really really need to prioritize that more it's so important for our muscles and joints and just all of our body working cohesively together it's super important I'm probably screaming at you guys with these headphones but awesome workout today did some that I haven't done in a while and some new ones like the California press which is the chest press to the tricep dips those are killer those are a burner so that was super awesome haven't done the unassisted dips in forever I did five sets of those those were killer I miss doing those I remember when I used to not be able to get down once so it was killer to not have done it in so long and then just jump on there and be able to knock them out like that I say knock them out I wasn't doing like a hundred of them I was doing about eight each time time um, and I did five sets of those so for not doing them in a really long time I feel awesome about that feel awesome just overall about the workout and coming to the end of a week I'm excited to celebrate this weekend with the hubby and go out on date night and we have some other stuff fun stuff planned we have the grandbaby this weekend because my oldest daughter is out of town so that is always fun and exciting and I have a whole bunch of new stuff that I am trying to plan. I'm already like dunning for the new year, trying to get stuff planned for that. Stuff that will be exciting and hopefully help you guys as well as myself and just crush some new goals and coming into the first already like kicking ass and be ahead of the game of everybody else that is just starting on January 1st to get their health together and then they fall off within a month. I don't want to be that person. I don't want any of you guys to be those people. So make a plan to finish the year strong, to keep trucking along on your health and fitness journey. Don't throw in the towel just because it's the holidays and then have to restart over come January 1st to regain all that you had worked so hard for most of the year. If you are one of the people that stuck with it last January 1st and you've been trucking along all year long, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Make a plan to finish out the last few months. It's October 1st today, so we have October, November, and December. We have our last 90 days. 
to totally crush it and be so far ahead of the majority of society come January 1st and be that much closer to our absolute best selves. Let's get it. Back at the house, have lunch all whipped up here and it is a massive one. I have a huge meatloaf sandwich here. I have some of this ultra thin 40 calorie a sliced provolone cheese. I have two slices of that on there. Some of this light mayonnaise, some of the G Hughes sugar-free ketchup on two slices of the Nature's Own Keto Bread, which is 40 calories a slice. And then of course, some of the Loaded Taco Quest protein chips and a good culture cottage cheese. I did not have breakfast or anything to eat at all today. It's almost three o'clock, it's 2.30 right now. So I'm going in with all the things. Opti Greens and Reds, have them mixed up here. Refilled my water a second time, it's completely full. And this is all coming in at 855 calories and 36 net carb. I'm not sure that I have shown you guys this week, but you guys know I take supplements every single day. I showed the entire list and went over them a couple vlogs back, so go check that out. But I do go in with these supplements every single day. I get some of them from Amazon, and then the rest I get from Equip, which I always have linked down below, and with Jen will save you some money if you wanna go snag some up yourself. What's up, guys? It is now five o'clock. I just got back from taking little guy to karate. Daddy is picking him up from karate, so I just got to drop him off today. So I am back at the house, getting ready to go on with my snacks. Of course, both turkey sticks, chomps, and new primal, and my favorite cookie dough chunk built bar. And I have a zero sugar Dr. Pepper sitting around somewhere that I'm going to have with this snack. I'm going to knock out some of my reading and then get a little bit of work done. We're just having leftovers again tonight for dinner because we have so much leftovers. And you guys know I am like zero food waste. We make sure to go through all the leftovers and we're going out to dinner tomorrow night. So we won't be having leftovers tomorrow night. And then Sunday, I don't know, we'll see how it is, but that's why my meal plan is definitely tentative and we go through the week and whatever leftovers we have, we make sure to eat them up so that we have absolutely zero food waste. So dinner will be super easy tonight and I'm still looking like a hot mess because I have to shower and wash this hair and I try to do that as least as possible. Anybody else, let me know down below if you, are you like team wash your hair every day or try to wash it as least as possible because that is me and I'm still gonna go for a walk so I figure when I get back from the walk then I will jump in the shower. Super quick and easy leftovers we have a ton of leftovers here so the fam is all making some i just did some of the taco meat on the last two salsa texan tortillas that i have with a little bit of the corn and the black bean salsa on there some of the Gaines bakery sweet poppy sauce i haven't had in forever with some cucumbers that i already had sliced up too literally took two seconds to throw this together it's 374 calories and 13 net carbs and i am also of course going in with a ginger root beer zevia same old same old on repeat tonight for our snack we have the pumpkin too good yogurt with some of the pumpkin cheesecake nut butter, two of the pumpkin protein muffins, which is 321 calories, 21 net carbs, which finishes me off for the night at 197 grams protein, 68 grams fat, 1804 on the calories, and 76 net carbs, which will finish us off for an awesome day of eating. We're getting ready to go head out and get some steps in, and that'll be a wrap to Friday night. All right, guys, that is a wrap for another vlog. We have officially ended phase two finish strong feeling awesome feeling good i felt amazing towards the end of the week and really really went hard on my friday push day this is now actually a couple days later that i'm doing this outro and i am still so incredibly sore i don't very often get sore upper body i get sore from leg day all the time but i rarely ever am as sore like hurt to wash my hair change my shirt like I definitely went hard and hit my muscles in a different way this week, for sure, and totally am feeling awesome about it. Just feeling strong in my workouts overall. Now ending phase two, I'm ready to chase some new goals and some new challenges and to continue on to my health journey, trying to chase the absolute best me that I can. I hope you guys are doing the same. Let me know down below if you guys finished phase two or if you are still doing 75 hard, what part of the journey you guys are on and how you are trucking along i hope you guys are doing awesome i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and if you do me a solid smash the thumbs up button that definitely helps me out it helps this video get out and the youtube algorithm push it out to share with more people and i appreciate it more than you guys know and if you aren't following me on instagram make sure to hit me up over there at in with jen i'll pop my handle on the screen here and if you're brand new make sure to subscribe before you leave click your notification bell that way you won't miss out on any videos as i upload them and of course thank you so very much for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next video